A kickstart for a handy way to handle your iPad. Toyota moves in concert with Yahoo and Live Nation. And move over Siri, there's a new virtual gal in town. This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. Welcome to the premiere of BizWire TV. I'm Erin Aid. Top of the wire this week, a hands-on, and I mean hands-on, way to use your iPad and iPhone, and it's gaining momentum. Startup Handscape has developed the first and only mobile case using advanced touch technology. It gives you front and back controls. It's called the Handy Case, and if you take a look at this Kickstarter video, you'll see why. You can actually see your hands through the iPad. Nuts, just nuts. Now, Handscape announced this week that it's closed its first round of funding for $2 million, and it also reached, then exceeded its $100,000 Kickstarter goal. The goal for a new collaboration is to shine the light on up-and-coming musicians. Toyota, Yahoo, and Live Nation have partnered up to create original content and produce live performances by emerging artists. The automaker will be the exclusive sponsor of Rising, a new Yahoo music site highlighting new talent. Plus, it will sponsor upcoming Live Nation music festivals. Look for a concert from Ciara next month. And a list of A-listers in big business is out. The Harvard Business Review has revealed its annual list of the world's best performing CEOs. The magazine revamped its metric this year. The CEO of Danish pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk won the top spot. While Amazon's Jeff Bezos, who was last year's number one, he sunk all the way to number 87. I'm sorry about that, Jeff. Now, after the story crossed the wire, it sparked a thousand posts reaching five million people. Wiring you in on some quick biz hits, Roku added HBO's standalone subscription service, HBO Now, to its platform. The story received nearly 4,300 mentions on social media, reaching over 17 million people in the first 48 hours of its release. And sign on the dotted screen, Adobe announced new eSign capabilities in Document Cloud. They include a mobile app and digital signatures, which are a more secure form of electronic signing. And get on your mark, get set, shop. That's the way I like it. The National Retail Federation says the holiday shopping season looks pretty solid. The NRF is expecting November and December sales of $630 billion. That's a solid 3.7% increase. Now, the forecast is even better for online shopping. $105 billion, up 68%. Tweets about the story just by CNBC and AP Fashion alone reached 2.5 million consumers. That is a whole lot of people. Good luck picking up the phone and trying to get a real customer service rep these days. If you're frustrated, as I am, with automated voices, time to meet Amelia 2.0. What can I help you with? This blue-eyed blonde is the latest version of IPsoft's virtual service agent, and she's more human than ever. Amelia doesn't just understand words, she understands context. She can even react or make a decision based on a customer's mood or emotion. I know humans that can't do that. Now, her story gained 23,000 views in the first 24 hours. The company says this version of Amelia brings her another step closer to passing the Turing test, where a person can't tell whether they're talking to a machine or a human. Some breakthrough products are getting a cash injection from PayPal founder Peter Thiel's Breakout Labs. NanoGrip Tech has developed a new kind of microfiber adhesive. It's inspired by the gecko's millions of micro nano foot hairs that give them the stickiness to scurry across walls. Here's how it works in action. Take a look at this robot turning a page with just the touch of a finger. Another company, Maxterial, has developed technology to protect metal. Here's how steel normally handles water. Now, take a look at what happens when treated with Maxterial. Pretty amazing. Also getting seed funding, C2 Sense, with technology that will smell odor and then tell you when your food is about to go bad. And Cytogen working on expanding our health span. Here are some of the top trenders that cross business wire. This, according to our exclusive social media monitor, powered by Nuvi. The biggest tech deal in history set off a social media explosion when Dell announced it agreed to buy EMC for $67 billion. The story moved like wildfire across social media, 10,000 social mentions reaching 55 million consumers. And 23 million people were reached with a report that put a problem into focus. More than 1 billion people around the world need glasses, but don't have access to vision care. 
The word came from one site, a nonprofit aimed at eradicating the global vision care crisis. Catch BizWire TV every Friday and BizWire TV Accelerator on Sundays to get you revved up for your week ahead. Also, you can check out more top business news at businesswire.com. I'm Erin Aid. See you next time on BizWire TV.